without excuse. We have the truth, and now you know what your job is. Look at uh, verse 7, John 1, 7. Let's try to move on here. John 1, chapter, seven, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. The next point here. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness. Yes, sir. To what? To bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Mm -hmm. Not just the elect, not just certain people, mm -hmm. that all men through him might believe. Amen. You know that God wants these youngsters to believe? Yes, sir. God wants yes, the sir. older folks to believe? Mm -hmm. When you go to get your coffee today, he wants them to be saved. That's right. And when you go and you go to your doctor's appointments, he wants them to be saved. When you go to your uh, mm -hmm. lawyer's office or your accountant's office, you do your taxes, Everywhere you go, there's people that God wants to save. Yes, sir. He did all the work. Jesus said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. The work is done. Now it's up to us to reconcile because our job is to send from God and for what is your what is your sending, your purpose? He came for a witness. God wants all to be saved. The yes, sir. Said, we read it earlier. But you shall receive power after that. The Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. Both in... Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria, Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. That's right. He said, "Ye yes, shall be witnesses unto me." Amen. Ye, in case you can't understand the old uh, English, <laughs> ye means all of you. That's <laughs> right. Every one of you. Y'all. You're a witness. Amen. You know? <laughs> Y'all. That's right. all right. So, you know, I grew up in North, but God was a Southern. Amen. <laughs> but ye, you all, you all called to be a witness. Amen. You know, and you have the power. You know, you, you heard Brother Jeff talk about that anointing. Well, mm -hmm. that anointing in John 15 is not only that you were anointed and sealed with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. when you were saved, but at the same time, He gave you His Holy Spirit, and now you have no excuse. You have the power yes, to sir. do what God tells yes, you to sir. do. Yes, sir. And we all don't want to say the verse, but the charismatic mm -hmm. woman, yep. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That's right. Well, just because we're Baptists doesn't mean we can't apply that. Thing. Amen. You can do all things. So you can go in a restaurant and you can walk up and down the lines in the mm -hmm. table and say, excuse me, could you read these later? Excuse me. And when you got time, read these. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon mm -hmm. me. Forgive me. But I just, I don't want to bother you. But mm -hmm. please be reconciled unto God. Yes, sir. God came to seek and save that which was lost. He said, mm -hmm. son, to die for you, lady. That's right. You know, die for you, mister. Mm -hmm. You know, so look at them and be bold. You have the strength and you have the power to do it. There is no excuse. And you can't get out of the judgment, which is what we're going to talk about mm -hmm. soon. You know, but there is a judgment to come. Yes, sir. And he's going to ask you some questions and yes, hopefully I'll have time to show you those things. All right. But in Proverbs 11.30, it says, The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life. He that mm -hmm. wins souls is wise. You know, later in Daniel it says, "In the and the in the wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament." You know, so yep. we're going to be as the like a star in heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, and those angels, and you know your Bible a little bit. We're going to be like the angels someday. We're going yes, to have glorified bodies. We're going to shine as the brightness of the firmament. Yes, those stars you see at night, they call them suns or whatever they want to call them. Uh, that could be us. That's right. And we're going to do that for all eternity. And why? Because if you win souls, you're wise. Amen. Who wants to be a dummy? <laughs> no, right? You want to be wise? Then get out there and win some souls. Amen. You say, I can't do it. Yes, yes, you can do it. You know, we heard in Matthew 28, you know, that he says, go unto all the nations. You yep. Know, and baptize them and in, in teaching them and baptizing mm -hmm. them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Well, he says, go out into all the nations. Mm -hmm. you know, God wants all to be saved. That's right. And he wants all us to be those ministers of reconciliation. Yes, sir. You have no excuse. Yeah. Right. Amen. Can somebody give me a good excuse? I'll wait. <laughs> you know, if you can, I'll give you 20 bucks. Yeah. You know, and then I'll use it too. Mm -hmm. But none of you can come up with it. That's you right. Can. Amen. You know, there's no reason that you can't be a witness. That's right. You got a tongue, you can walk, right? I mean, some of us have trouble. I see the sister with a walk, but she can get around. Yes, sir. You know? I'm standing here with you know, Parkinson's, you know, standing up by the grace of God and a little pill that he took earlier. You know, <laughs> so I can preach. Amen. You know, so yes, thank sir. God for that. Amen. He said, Amen. these youngsters, they can't do anything. Whoever refused something from a little kid, Amen. Give her a That's oh, right. Thank you, sweetheart. You know? yeah. 
and they can do it too. Yes, sir. You know, you say, well, I'm not smart enough. I don't know the Bible. Yeah, no, listen. Well, you know how you do to be saved, right? Yes, sir. You know how God saved you. So That's just right. Give a testimony. Amen. When I was headed to hell. I was a wicked sinner, and you know, God gave me some light and showed me that there was a way out, and God sent His Son to die for me, and He'll. He'll save you. Just ask the Lord. Save you from hell. Save you from hell, and he'll do Amen. it. Amen. You know, he didn't say to Peter, well, you better quit smoking before I grab your hand. <laughs> so he didn't say, well, you're going to come to church every Sunday. So mm -hmm. he didn't say, you're going to read your Bible. He, yep. said, he reached out his hand, and he saved him. That's right. Caught him Amen. So that's what you got to show people. God is here, <coughs> was here. He sent his son to seek mm -hmm. and save that which was lost. Alright, so we see that this is sent from God. John's purpose was to be a witness. And we're going to show that in verse 8, we're going to take something here. In John 1 8, it says that John, about John, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Yes, sir. Alright, so this point here is bear witness of that light. You know what people don't want? Mm -hmm. They don't want your opinion. Yeah. No, they don't want your religion. Yep. They don't want the way you think they should live. They need the light. Amen. And the light is us in the way that God works through us. We're just vessels, you know. The, yes, sir. This camera, you know, the internet isn't in the camera. It sends it all to wherever it sends it. I don't know, right? <laughs> but the bottom line is it's just a camera. It's a yep. vessel to get this out into there. Yes, sir. And that's all you are. You're a vessel. You know, it says to... Uh, Present your body a living sacrifice, mm -hmm. holy, acceptable unto God. He says it's a reasonable service. You know, it also says that you know yield your your members up to be uh, instruments of right righteousness. Yes, sir. You know, in the morning you should just get up, Lord. I'm just a stupid yeah. fool, idiot, and I can't really do much. You know, I hardly walk, I hardly talk. <coughs> and my you know education is lacking, and I don't know much about the Bible. But you gave me this life, so why don't you use it? But Amen. You know, it's about him. It's yes, about sir. Him. People want to hear good testimonies, what God has done for you, but they don't want to hear about your life. You know, unless you can use it as a testimony to see mm -hmm. what God has done. You know, but people don't want to hear my problems. You yep. Know? I can sit up here for 45 minutes, <coughs> or an hour or an hour and a half, or whatever, and talk to you about all my problems. Yeah. I got some. You know, and mm -hmm. you know, it'll be a burden lifted off of me. You know, pray for me. Go do you know, this and this and this. And but it's not about me. That's right. You know, I was called, sent from God, to be a witness, and He showed me that I'm to be a witness of that light. Amen. I was not. I am not the light. It's the light mm -hmm. that's in me that I need to let up. Yes, sir. I know. I know. Uh, his name was Watchman Nee. Mm -hmm. I, I like some of his stuff. A lot of his stuff, devotional. His doctrine is like way out. But mm -hmm. He's charismatic, but. But he had something about uh, the breaking of the outer man. Mm -hmm. It was a good thing. I mean, go so a little too close to charismatic stuff, but but it showed with that alabaster box. You know, the yes, alabaster sir. box was precious. Yeah. It, it was nice, but it had to be broken. Yes, sir. To get the fragrance yeah. out. Yeah. And that's you. That's I. Amen. <coughs> In proper English, I know that much. You know, <laughs> but the bottom line is, you have to be broken. Yes, sir. Because it's not you. Nobody wants to hear about you. Mm -hmm. They want to hear about the light that's in you. Yes, sir. You have to be that broken vessel and just say, here I am. Use me any way you want. Yeah. You know, so John, he bore witness of Jesus, not of himself. Look at John 1, 19 <coughs> through 27. We'll read through these as quick as possible. John 1, 19 through 27. It says, and this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem, Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed, and said, I am not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Mm -hmm. right? And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he saith, I am not. Mm -hmm. right? He would have been if they accepted him. Yep. Another day. Right? And he says, uh, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. Mm -hmm. You know, Elijah's coming back, Moses <coughs> coming back, yep. all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Right? But he said, he said no. Right? He uh, says, and he confessed and said, I am not. Uh, I lost my place, sorry. In verse 20, he says, and he confessed and said, I am not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elias? And he said, no, I, he, I am not. 
Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. See, they want to know who John is. They don't mm. want to know who he's talking about. Yeah. What sayest thou of thyself? They were just, they're looking at John. Yeah. You know, they're, they're blind. Yep. Right? But John yep. isn't going to let them look at him. Mm -hmm. He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as says the prophet Isaiah. Right? We just read that in mm -hmm. Isaiah. He says, I'm not the light. Yep. I'm not the Christ. Hey, I'm not even that prophet. Yep. You know? He could have been, but he wasn't. And he turned their interest in him and tried to point him. Yes, sir. To the Lord Jesus. That's right. Amen. The one that cometh after me, and whom I'm not worthy to unloose his to shoot the, the lay things on his shoe. He's the one that that's the Messiah. He's coming. And he came a few few months later, six months later, mm -hmm. whatever time he was. He was always pointing towards Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Now we heard a little bit about the Holy Spirit in Sunday school today. All right, but the biggest job or the most important job of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is not only to preach sin, righteousness, and judgment, but it's also points to Jesus. Amen. Everything he does points to Jesus. That's right. Everything Jesus did, he pointed to the Father. Everything the Holy Spirit does, he points to the Son. Yes, sir. You know, and the, and the Holy Spirit can teach us great humility, and that's what we're supposed to do. If you're filled with the Spirit, that yes, second anointing, to do something for God in a certain amount of time, and that anointing can come in the stinking sub shop. Yep. You know, you mm -hmm. can be there waiting for your sub, and somebody walks in waiting for their order, and the anointing will come off here. Yes, say, sir. Hey, buddy, uh, hey, buddy, I got a track for you. Yep. You know, you ever think about where you're going when you die? Mm. No, I'm just thinking about where my sandwich is. <laughs> no, don't you think you should think about it? You know, it's yeah. the greatest, greatest question you should have, right? Where will I go when I die? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I ask them down in Honduras all the time. They always never got time for anything. They're always trying to scam and yeah. scheme and try to get money and food and all. You know, and I ask them after they reject the witness, I, I said, let me ask you a question. I never heard, uh, I've always heard the same answer to this question. Do you want to burn forever? And they're like, why do you ask me that? Why would I want to burn forever? I said, well, if you reject Jesus Christ, you're going to burn forever. Yep. Uh -huh. you know, so why would you want to burn forever? I don't want to burn forever. I said, well, you better listen. Mm -hmm. I got the only way out. Yep. You're going to burn forever. And it gets them to wake up. Mm -hmm. so I'm not trying to offend them or be rude, yep. but sometimes you got to slap them upside the head. Yes, sir. Say, hey, wake up. You know, you're asleep. Your spirit's in the dead. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't, the, the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Yes, sir. They're spiritually discerned. So we got to do something open their eyes yes, and you sir. say well that's not the way I would do it well fine do it whatever way you want to do it just get the do thing it. done yeah you know do and it. it says in the Bible that I'm in Jude and if some have compassion right. making a difference well there's a time when the guy's at the funeral and he's crying mm -hmm. you don't need to hey you're going to hell too buddy you know? yeah that's not the time mm -hmm. you know? it yeah. may be for some people, but it's not the time and others mm -hmm. say with fear pulling them out of the fire yeah. Cain even the garments watered by the flesh. So there's tribulation stuff there. Mm -hmm. But some need compassion, and you got to have the Holy Spirit's anointing to know that. You yes, don't know sir. what to tell. I don't know what you need. I don't know what this young lady needs. Only God knows what. That's you right. Know? And individually, we all have our needs. They all have their needs too. You know that guy that I witnessed to in the car. You know that mm -hmm. I gave the tracks to. He needed to have some compassion and say, Hey, there's an answer for where you go when you die. Yes, Your sir. Uncle, it's you know, I'm not going to say anything about mm -hmm. it. I don't know what he believes, but you can have the solution. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, I didn't walk up to the car and say, hey, you know you're going to burn forever, right? You know, yeah. you know, because of that beer or that cigarette in your hand, you're going to burn forever. It says it in the Bible. Yeah. All sinners shall have their part. All liars shall have their part. The lake mm -hmm. of fire and brimstone. So you're going to burn for hell. Uh, burn forever in hell. So some of them need it. You know, I was street preaching in Boston downtown. That's some of the preaching. You know, mm -hmm. unless you accept the Lord Jesus Christ and be born again, you're going to be burned in hell forever. Hell is real. I don't care if you try to ignore it or if you think you're going to be annihilated in the like of fire or if you think you're Muslim and you're going to kill some Americans and go to heaven and all that stuff and have some virgins for the rest of your eternity to fornicate. You know, I don't care what you believe, but unless you believe on Jesus Christ, he said he's the way, the truth, and the life. No yes, man shall live to the Father but by him. Yes, sir. So you got to wake him up. 
Mary can't get you there. That's right. Hope can't get you mm -hmm. there. Buddha can't get you there. Your aunt can't get you there. I can't get you there. That's Amen. For sure. You know, and Brother Jeff, unfortunately, he's a good preacher, but he can't get you there. That's right. Amen. You, know, you need to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're lost, you better do it today. Right? So we see that he came to bear witness of that life. Now, I'm going to try to end on this point here. But I want you to see something in 1 Corinthians 3. 1 Corinthians 3. Try to adjust a little bit here. Kind of wrap this up. So. We touched on it earlier. 1 Corinthians 3, 11 through 15. Mm hmm. Amen. For the foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, the stuff of God, mm -hmm. wood, hay, and stubble, there's your stuff. Yep. You know, your nice house and your nice car and your family that's nice and everybody is nice. You got a nice bank account. And mm -hmm. stuff of God. Yeah. Yeah, have a nice day. Every man's mm -hmm. work shall be made manifest, made visible. For the day shall declare it. Because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Well, praise God. He's mm -hmm. going to reward you for doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of me. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. All right, so this is the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. And there's a lot of other things that the... The preacher will probably show you at some point, or maybe he already has about the judgment seat. But you can't get out of the judgment. That's right. You say, I was judged at the cross. Well, yeah, <laughs> your sins from your past life were done. Mm -hmm. Your sins from the present and future were all forgiven at that cross when you got saved. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's, a, there's a, a payment, a consequence to pay in this life. Yes, sir. And your sins are going to be the wages of your sins. It's going to be death. Mm -hmm. So we're all headed for it. You know, some faster than others, but we're getting there. But in the meantime, you have an opportunity to serve God. That's right. Now, if Amen. thou forbear to deliver them that are drawn up to death and those that are ready to be slain, if thou say, Behold us, we knew it not. Doth not he that can, uh, honoreth your heart consider it? Mm -hmm. And doth not he that uh, keepeth thy soul, shall he not, shall he not know it? And rendeth to every man according mm -hmm. to his work? Mm -hmm. A little bit twisted, but there it's all there. You know, the bottom line is, you're going to have to give an answer for God. That's right. You know, when you know you're supposed to give a track, yep. you look right at, right, at, right at that person with your face to face. Mm -hmm. You say, well, look at him. He's, he's kind of mean looking. I don't know about <laughs> you know, uh, She's a real big bat. You know, I don't want to listen to her. You know, stupid. You know, bottom line is, God's going to say, I gave you the open opportunity. That's right. I call them, and some people call them, divine opportunities. Mm -hmm. The door is open. And it's for a brief second. And I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. I've failed many a time. Amen. And yeah. I've rejected it. And it brought me to tears. And it brought me to fear also. Yeah. Because I know that I'm going to have to give an answer. That's right. You know? And I can't sit there like Pilate and with my hands. Mm. And say, oh, I wash my hands with this one. Mm -hmm. No. Their blood is on my hands. Yes, sir. And their blood is going to be on your hands. Amen. And you say, well, I can't do it. Well, you can do it. And God is going to judge you whether you are doing it. That's right. You know? So you're going to have to realize, and we'll end it on this. Look in Proverbs 24. Uh, excuse me. No, not Proverbs 24. That's the verse I just quoted. Uh, Job 26. Mm -hmm. yeah. Job 26. Mm -hmm. So what's God going to ask you? Mm -hmm. No, you've got to serve questions. And he warned us all right here. Yes, sir. For the benefit of all that I want to get home and get back to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. right. Thinking about that, brother, and pride. Come on, preach. How are you? Yes. Well, I'm almost done, but God wants you to see something. Yes, sir. Job 26, verses 1 and 2, mm -hmm. uh, 3 also. But Job answered and said, How hast thou helped him that is without power? Yep. So we're just poor and needy. How savest thou the arm that hath no strength? Mm -hmm. Can't save ourselves, and they can't save themselves. Yeah. How hast thou counseled him that hath no wisdom? Well, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. No fear of God, there is no wisdom. Yep. Right? But how have you counseled him that yep. hath no wisdom? And how hast thou plentifully declared the thing mm -hmm. as it is? Yep. Yes, Are sir. You doing it? Yes, sir. You're going to look right in your Savior's eyes. Mm -hmm. And he's going to say, How did you proclaim the truth? Mm -hmm. 
Tell me yep. about it. Yep. What did you do? Yep. Tell people about me. Amen. And you're going to fall flat in the face and you say, I'm sorry, Lord, I didn't do it. I meant to do it. I wanted mm -hmm. to do it, but I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. You're going to say, well, let's get some wood, hay, and stuff, and let's get a bonfire going. Yep. Because it's all going to burn up. But I took care of my family. I loved my wife. I mm -hmm. took care of my job. I did everything I was supposed to. Mm -hmm. That's good. But the main thing is, yep. have you won souls to Christ? Amen. Have you been a witness? You're sent from God. The truth is here. It says here, to whom hast thou uttered words? Yep. And whose spirit came from me? Yes, sir. You know, you can do it in a good spirit. Or bad spirit. Yep. You can do it in the spirit of God, or you can do it in the spirit of man. Amen. The bottom line is you're going to answer for it. Yes, so sir. why did you do yes, it? Sir. Yes, sir. Why did you do what you did? Well, I the Bible says I have to give up track. Mm -hmm. The Bible says I have to do this thing. Come on. Preach the word. I have to, I have to, I have to. Yeah. God says That's your motive. Get the matches. Yep. Yep. You know, yep. don't you have any compassion and have compassion? Amen. Jesus looked on the multitude that had compassion on them because they yes. fainted and scattered and brought a sheep Amen. and no shepherd. Do you look out when you're driving down the road mm -hmm. and say, man, look at that guy. He's got purple hair. What the? What is wrong with him? You know, they, oh, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll stop the car and I'll get out of the car and get in the truck. Yep. But I don't want to see him burn in hell. That's right. Why are you doing it? It's because you want to have the church say, well, Praise him. Look at all the work he's doing. He must be really in touch with God. He must be real close. Hey, yeah, look at me. I'm yep. pretty special. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Well, good. Keep doing it, but it's, you know, it's all going to burn up. Is. But at least you got something done. You know? Don't be lazy. You know, it's nice and comfortable in here. <laughs> you know, get out of the boat. Amen. Don't walk on the water. Yes, sir. You came from God. You sent from God. Yes, sir. You sent to be a witness. Right, to bear witness of him, and you're going to get judged now. Yes, sir. Are you ready? Prepared to meet that God? Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's pray, and I'll turn it over to the preacher. Amen. Father God, thank you for the opportunity to preach these words.